What's going on you guys? So in the last video you've seen we had the engine out of the car. So today is the day where we're going to tear this thing apart and dig into it. Hey, maybe there's a hole in a piston. Who knows? Uh, it seemed to run fine, but there could be something catastrophically wrong with it that I don't know about. So we're going to get the heads off. We're going to get the pan off of it, pop the pistons rods out, check out the bearings, go through it and see what we got to replace. Hopefully it's uh, just bearings and gaskets and piston rings. Let's dig into it. Okay, so far we have got the cylinder heads off, we got the intake off, we have the water pump brackets and all that stuff. Pulled off the motor. Head gaskets were a-okay. Pistons look fine. Doesn't really look like there's anything wrong with them. A little bit of carbon deposit buildup on them, but you know, that's to be expected. It is a thousand horsepower engine that has been running together for the last three years now. Uh, cylinder heads all look really good, valves, uh, nothing really looked burnt. Nothing looked like it had any sort of failure or was even looking like it was starting to go. Basically everything just looked fine, like there was no need to take it apart. Rocker arms, all that stuff were good. Lifters were just replaced recently and those all looked fine as well. So next step, we're gonna flip this thing over, uh, pop the pan off of it. Probably make a big fucking mess when I do it too because I always make a mess flipping motors over. So yeah, we're gonna make a big fucking mess, take the pan off, and then uh, knock the rods and pistons out of it. My only issue right now is uh, I don't have a puller to get the harmonic balancer off. So I can't pull the front cover or get the cam out right now, so that kind of sucks. But we can, still, we can still get the rods and pistons out, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So we got the motor taken apart. Rods and pistons are out of it. Pistons and rods, mint, not an issue with those. We did run into one thing that makes me kind of glad I took this motor apart. And that was with piston number two. So we found some debris actually went through this bearing and there is a significant groove in the bearing and a substantial amount of material wear on it. Now. If it was just the bearing, I wouldn't be concerned about it, but it did cut a pretty deep groove in the crankshaft as well. So that means I'm probably gonna end up buying a new crankshaft for this. 
Now, the only reason the crankshaft itself is still in the motor is because I could not find my puller to get the harmonic balancer off. So the crankshaft and cam is still in there for now until I can get my puller to remove it and then get the cam out and get the crank out. So hopefully cam bearings are still good. Crank's going to need to be replaced. I mean, I could cut it. It's just a lot of material. I really don't feel like cutting that, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually replace the whole crank. And we're back. So it's been a couple days since we last left off here. Uh, last time we left off, I cannot get this off of there because I didn't have one of these. So I went ahead, ordered up a balancer puller off of Amazon. It's like 40 bucks or something like that. But uh, got the job done, pulled it off. So now that the harmonic balancer is off the crank, I can go ahead, get the rest of this thing torn down and uh, get the crank out of it, get the cam out of it, oil pump, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's finish getting this thing torn down. Sponsor me, Red Bull. Oh, it's hot in here. Okay, so cams out, cranks out. What did we learn? Well, mains, uh, none of the main bearings spun, but they definitely have some wear to them. The cam bearings, on the other hand, don't even look like they were touched. They still have the coating on the outside of the bearing and everything, so cam bearings are mint. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't even know if I'm gonna change them because cam bearings for this thing were a real pain to get last time. So, I mean, if I can get new cam bearings, I'll swap them out. They're like 50 bucks or something like that. So, you know, might as well do it while I'm in there. But main bearings definitely need to be replaced. Whatever took out that bearing, well, I shouldn't say took out, but whatever caused that, that cut in that uh, cylinder two bearing, I think there was a, uh, yeah, there's a little bit more debris that went through the mains. Ah. Look at this guy right here. Definitely some wear in that right there. So yeah, the main bearings 100% need to get replaced. Rod bearings 100% need to get replaced. Now, the only thing left to do on this, which I'm not going to be doing in this video, 
is I need to go through and mic this motor out. So I need to check cylinder bore. I need to measure up the rods, measure up main clearances, all that stuff. Go back through, just check all my clearances, make sure everything's still good. That way I know what size bearings I need to get. And just to make sure like the, the cylinders are still true and round. I might be sending the pistons out to get a ceramic coating on them. If they're a little bit loose, they might be, I'm not sure. I haven't mic'd any of it yet. But if they're a little bit loose, I might send them out to get ceramic coated. Uh, that'll tighten them up a little bit. And then other than that, it's just clean up really. So I gotta go through, clean this motor up. Uh, I'm gonna paint the block because this whole rust shit is getting old. I, I hate looking at it. Even when I send this out and get it hot tanked and cleaned, it'll come back looking nice for like a week. And then it looks... Oh, well, you, you can't. It's it's over here, but you, you've seen it. You know what it looks like. It looks rusty. So we're gonna we're gonna paint it. We're gonna go ahead and paint her. Uh, you know, good old Chevy orange. It's uh my it's it's, it's gonna it's gonna be my uh my five seven uh, LSX block. Yeah. So yeah, next on the agenda. Go through, mic everything up, clean it up, clean the heads up, send anything out I need to send out to the machine shop. Parts we need to get, rod bearing, main bearings, piston rings, full gasket set top to bottom. I'm gonna replace the front cover with a new one because when you buy a new one, they come with a crank seal, uh, front cover gasket, and the cover like all in one unit. I'm like 50 bucks, so I'm just gonna buy a whole new front cover for it because it needs a crank seal anyways. Uh, the rear, I'm probably just gonna do the same, replace the rear cover new gasket seal all that stuff i need to put a cam position sensor plug in here because the five threes have the cam sensor on the top back of the block now converted over to gen 4 electronics and sensors and all that stuff my cam sensor is actually in the front of the motor so i don't actually need to use that hole in the back but the cam sensor i had in there just plugging it was starting to leak and it was causing oil to get all over the place back there so we're just going to put a delete plug in there get rid of that and i'm probably also going to replace the oil pump while it's out just because with the stuff i seen going on with the bearings and all that you know if it made it to the bearings it made it through the pump so whatever caused that cut in there probably went through the pump so i'm just going to replace the oil pump while i have all this apart anyways because better to be safe than sorry so after i've torn this motor down and inspected everything after three years and a thousand horsepower i gotta say i'm pretty impressed i was expecting it to be a lot worse than it is but i'm pretty surprised it's as good as it is now i was wrong when i said there was no need to take it apart because clearly there was some stuff wrong with it so i'm glad we took it apart so we can address these things before they become a bigger issue but three years and a thousand horsepower man just blown away and this was a junkyard ls originally this was a 400 dollars 53 that was fully dressed with ecu harness all that stuff accessories and basically sold all that stuff and used the block and heads and then put k1 rods diamond pistons ls3 crank basically you know went through and built the motor but ended up with a really stout motor for about three grand so for three grand this thing held up for a thousand horsepower over the last three years and i'm just blown away this this thing's awesome i'm i'm gonna rebuild this make it better but for now i gotta get this thing cleaned up i gotta clean my garage up because it is a disaster now so i hope you guys liked the video i'm gonna be sure to do another video when it comes time to build this thing because we're gonna be rebuilding a thousand horsepower ls anyways that's gonna be it for this one you guys so like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you're new follow the build along and until the next one i'll catch you guys later